are all in this for each other. Right. And it has been a beautiful year of rehearsals and creation. And I was so proud of you guys this morning in the performance. It was just Amazing. wonderful. Yay. So let's do another one, okay? And let's do it that for standing ovation. RTA. RTA stands for Rehabilitation through the Arts. And they use different types of creative art to help us with different skills for communication, for listening, you know, taking constructive criticism, things like that that helps you in your family life, in your, you know, society, you know, in general, in your personal relationships with people. All right, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. We started out with a writing exercise. Tell us a story about something that happened in your life. I'll never forget that story. She once told me. When that she kind of made an impact on you. And people came up with all kinds of stories. He was always there, the homeless man. Then they came up with the idea that let's put all of these stories to music. Let's make songs out of them. And it all gave birth to Amazing Grace. It was. It's a, it was a wonderful experience, a great journey. I don't know who got this brainstorm idea to open the play a cappella with me. Because I'd be the first thing the audience saw. I have self-esteem issues. I'm real bubbly, A-type personality, but deep down inside, I really have a lot of self-esteem issues. And um, part of my personality is my protection. This must be a misunderstanding. Did I really hear you right? Oh, I need to know if you're telling me the truth. So what do I do? I look in the second row. <laughs> I look dead in this lady's face and she says like this, oh. So I got all this confidence. And I was like, hmm. I can do this. It's only three lines. And I did it. Five, six, seven, eight. I was six years old and my sister Grace was eight. Most of the people came in saying, I don't sing, I can't sing. They sounded amazing together. Yeah. This must be a misunderstanding. Did I really hear? Well, I still don't want to do it, <laughs> even though I already did it. This is how parents feel when... Ooh, hey, take two. This is how children feel when their parents chastise them. The only reason I did it was because I was trying to show everybody that we sometimes have to do things that we don't like because that's part of a, a greater good, which is the, the play that we're doing. And life is like that, too. Must be a misunderstanding. No! I can't stay here! When you do the writings, for example, it lets you see people can relate or share. They don't have to have experiences that are similar. The writings aren't like exactly, you know, bullseye what happened to me either. They're just... An, an avenue, they're a vehicle to vent. I remember looking at Faith and seeing my estranged daughter. Oh. You work through it not even realizing you've got this issue in the recesses of your mind and you think you've buried it deep, but it makes you who you are today. I remember how wonderful this group of oh. women sang, acted, and danced. We feel abandoned at times. We feel lost at times. We feel, ironically, even joyful at times. I remember how sexy Jazzy was in her dress. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the day we received our costumes. We felt so alive. Skinny jeans, scarves, oh boy. <laughs> it's all a part of the journey. But that journey makes us who we become. I didn't start out as the person that I am today. When I came to prison, I was a completely different person. I've grown a lot here. Um, and RTA is responsible for some of that growth. There's a little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Thank you.
for many people inside this program, I've seen that it's totally brought out a different side of their character. It's given them extreme confidence. It's helped people overcome fears. Every individual brings their individuality into the program and it somehow gets woven to make this great mural at the end that has a piece of everybody in it. RTA allows that to happen.